Aviators, welcome on board. Did you know that airplanes can form clouds? Yes, you guessed it right. Airplanes are cloud makers. Very warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pilot Samuere, and I will be your captain for this one today. Airplane fuel contains hydrocarbon, which consists of carbon dioxide and water. However, the water percentage in fuel is low, but still exists. That will lead us to the main question. What will happen to this fuel when it gets inside the jet engine? Jet engine combustion chamber is the place where the fuel is mixed with compressed air and ignites using continuous igniters. And so the explosion happened inside the combustion chamber and then the thrust is generated. Just imagine what is the temperature inside the combustion chamber. It can reach 2000 degrees Celsius. But now I won't go so deep in how the jet engine works because it's very long subject. But knowing the idea that inside the jet engine it's high temperature and the fuel burns which as we mentioned contains water that with high temperature becomes water vapor. Once this humid air reaches the exhaust section, the water vapor will have a surprise that the ambient temperature outside the engine is so low and trust me, at high altitudes, ambient temperature could reach minus 60 and minus 70 degrees Celsius and even lower. So imagine this water vapor when it's exposed to a very low ambient temperature, what will happen to it? It will immediately condense. That's why contrails is a short for condensation trails, which simply are line shaped clouds produced by aircraft engine exhaust. So at the end of the day, condensed water or ice crystal gets free form at high altitudes. And you will be surprised that contrails form clouds called cirrus clouds, which are high altitude clouds and mainly composed of ice crystals. Now, you can explain to everyone that these lines are normal, no malfunctions in the engines and no pollution is going on. It's water, but in a different physical shape. Thank you aviators for watching. Leave in the comments below your thoughts and ideas about the topics you want to discuss next time. And as always, we speak aviation.